So hi there again everyone, this is again Alan and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to review again another watercolor brand and this is very popular. You have been requesting for this. Today we are going to have finally the Kuretake Gensai Tambi from Japan. I got my set in 2017 at National Bookstore for around 2,200 Philippine pesos or roughly 43 US dollars. Nowadays, I still see this in National Bookstore in almost the same price range and in some online stores like Shopee. And if you happen to be interested, I will be putting some links in the description box so you can easily access the sellers of this set. So now let's take a look at the box first. The box is made out of cardboard and it feels sturdy and it looks premium. It is covered I think in linen or canvas so you can find this texture and in front you can find this uh, lettering I think in Japanese and it's gold it's nice and if you happen to know what this means kindly comment it below so that everybody will learn. Also you can find this information sheet that covers the box to protect it. You can find here the brand and the name of the set Gansai Tambi 36 colors a color chart and the palette how it looks like it also says here water based pigment um, Kuretaki the company name and the website and it says here made in Japan so it says here it's non-toxic so behind I still have here the receipt and same information the website and made in Japan and it says here, apply water brush with color to activate it. Available in 12, 18, 24, and 36 colors. But upon checking on their website, I found that they already have 48 set. They did not tell there uh, how many colors they exactly have. But I think they only have 48 colors maximum. Anyway, uh, it says here, Gansai Pan may exhibit cracking due to extreme dryness. However, it does not affect their quality. Occasionally, Gansai Pan texture may look rough due to tiny air bubbles which can occur during production which does not affect air their quality. Please create a color chart by painting the color onto the chart on the back side of the lid. Okay, here are some reminders. The color names from this swatch sheet or this chart is different from what they provided in their website so uh, later on on my swatch sheet you can find two names to each number code because i provided the names they provided here and also the names they provided in their website so now let's take a look at the palette let's remove the cover so here is how it looks like. It looks so yummy, I know. Look at that. And you can also find that there is a cover, a plastic cover. It's a little bit flimsy but it's okay. You can also use this as a palette if you need a bigger or uh, if you need more palette. And this is how the swatch sheet looks like from the cover. I've already uh, colored them. Each color is number coded and you can find the color names that correspond to these number codes in the sheet that they provided or in the website. Each color is placed in a huge pan and I don't actually exactly know what size this is but if you watched my Boku on the review, I call this the Japanese pan because I only see this size in Japanese watercolors. So, let's compare it to a full pan. This is a full pan from White Knights. And this is a half pan from Windsor Newton. So as you can see, the size is almost three times the full pan or yeah, just twice. But the contents is not filled up to the brim, so uh, that's another consideration. And by the way, behind you can find some codes again. So uh, if you happen to interchange the places of your pants, don't worry because the number code is provided at the back of the pan. 
And for our swatch sheet, of course, we are using our chest 185 cold pressed. And we are not gonna be re-wetting our pants prior to swatching to make sure we are fair with the other brands that we have reviewed. So I think we are ready to start. The first color is red. Next is carmine red or carmine. The first color that I will be uh, saying is the name they provided in the sheet or in the cover. And the second name is the color that they provided in their website. If there's only one name like this red, that means the name is the same both for the cover and in their website. Next is dark pink or rose matter. Next is wine red or rose matter deep. Next is cadmium red. Next is scarlet red or cadmium scarlet. So far the colors are very intense and uh, most of them I think are on the semi-opaque side. Next is orange or cadmium orange. Next is light brown or yellow ochre. Next we have mid yellow or cadmium yellow. Next is bright yellow or aureolin. Next is lemon yellow. Next we have olive green. Next we have may green or sap green light. Next we have mid green or sap green. Then we have ocean green. Next is evergreen or sap green deep. Next we have green or viridian. Next we have marine green or forest green. It's funny because marine green pertains to the sea while forest pertains to the jungle. <laughs> so it's two different things, exactly opposite. Next we have turquoise green or turquoise green deep. Next, we have Pale Aqua or Malachite. Next is Cornflower Blue or Ultramarine Pale. Next is Blue or Ultramarine. Next is Persian Blue or Cerulean Blue. Next is Cobalt Blue or Turquoise Blue. I think Turquoise is more appropriate name for this. Next we have Menthol Violet or Prussian Blue. I wonder how they arrived at naming this before as Menthol Violet. Next we have Deep Blue or Indigo. Next we have Deep Violet, which is really deep, or Imperial Violet.
Then we have purple or cobalt violet. Next we have deep pink. I think this is more like a magenta. Then we have brown or burnt sienna. Now we have dark brown. Now we have black. Next we have white, which is opaque, of course. Next we have silver. And in their website, they have a different name there. I think it's white gold and the number is also different, so they might have changed the color, actually. It's not obvious in the video, but it shimmers in actual. Next is bluish gold. But I think this is the real gold. And lastly, we have gold. But I think this is nearer to a copper or a reddish gold. So now we're done with our swatches and uh, let me give you a closer look. And also I forgot to mention earlier that they did not provide pigment information in their website or in the box or in the pan. So I'm not sure about the light fastness of this set. Let's do some color mixings before we proceed to our sample painting. So first target is to get skin tone and for that I have chosen to mix light brown and deep pink so let's try so this is a pretty skin color next let's try to achieve paints gray using black and deep blue so here is your paint spray next let's try to achieve shadow violet using purple and marine green And finally, let's try to achieve lavender using cornflower and purple. So these are the mixes that we were able to achieve. So now let's do our sample painting. And by the way, I'm going to be speeding this up to at least 25 times. So if you have questions, Please just comment it below and I'll be responding as soon as I can. As you can see, it doesn't really move that, that much. You need to help it a bit. So now we are done with our sample painting and um, what can I say? <laughs> As you can see, I did lots of effort in making a very moist or a very watery painting just to you know, prove to myself that it can actually move, the colors can actually move and um, I have mixed feelings about this because some of the colors effectively moved with the solution but 
unfortunately some of the colors didn't really move in fact you can see here some hard edges the painting actually overall looks very flat well some artists prefer that some artists don't so it's a matter of preference this time and what else some of the colors don't actually move that's one of the main issues here so the solution is just to uh, you know help it and use lots of water also the color selection is I think more for those who do botanical paintings still life paintings animes because the colors are more on the you know straightforward colors like red orange yellow green blue they don't have much earth colors but anyway some artists say that they can just mix the colors out from the primary color so if that's the case then this is good for them and they also mix very well like this one the light brown mixed very well with the pink which achieved a very nice skin tone color also the paints gray is okay the cornflower and violet for uh, the lavender is also okay though it's very opaque the purple and the marine green is um, okay also for a shadow violet or a neutralized purple I don't know if the addition of silver bluish gold and gold is very beneficial but for those who uh, you know make lots of um, fantasy themed paintings it's, this is very uh, useful and the main issue in this set for me is that they did not provide any pigment information and supposedly the pigment information is my basis of their light fastness or the reliability of the colors if they're gonna last or not so since that is not available I think if ever I'm gonna be using this I'll just be using it um, in a sketch pad or if ever I need to use it I need to scan the output now I think it's time to compare our set with the other paints that we have reviewed earlier so for this let's start with Sakura Koi packet field sketch box both don't provide pigment information both are vibrant but I hate the weird granulation in Sakura Koi, so I think I'm gonna give the point to Kurotake Gansai Tambi. Next is Superior Watercolors. Both don't have pigment information. Superior Watercolor is cheaper. Both are vibrant. So the point is to Superior. Next is Sonnet Watercolors. Both are vibrant and Sonnet is actually more vibrant. Sonnet provided pigment information, so it's a plus point. And Sonnet is far cheaper than Kuretake Gansai Tambi, so the point goes to Sonnet watercolors. Next is Van Gogh. Van Gogh provided pigment information, that's a plus point. Intensity wise, they're both intense. I had no problem working with uh, Van Gogh watercolors. And price wise, I think they're both on the same range, so. I think I need to give the point to Van Gogh because it provided pigment information. Next is Mission Gold. Jello. Generally, the colors of Mission Gold are more transparent. They're both intense. But the edge of Mission Gold is, of course, aside from transparency, is that they provided the pigment information. So there's no thinking about this anymore. The point goes to Mission Gold last. Next, we have Holbein Artist Watercolors. They are very compatible when it comes to uh, behavior. But I think Holbein is more intense, it's more pigmented, and they provided pigment information, so the point, of course, is to Holbein. Next is White Knights. I believe White Knights is more intense than Kuretake Gansai Tambi. And uh, the colors are more workable and they also provided pigment information so the point obviously goes to white knights and lastly of course daniel smith although these are only six colors you can see the range of colors that you can achieve using the daniel smith essential set and they are all very intense there even if these colors are made from you know mixing six colors and also they provided uh, the pigment information so obviously the point goes to the Daniel Smith essential set so now if you're gonna ask me would I recommend this set my answer would be it depends on you if you are the type of artist who does a lot of anime paintings still life paintings botanicals calligraphy then 
this I think will work for you. If you are the type who uh, does lots of landscape paintings or you love earth pigments, well, I don't think this is for you because they only have three earth colors here. If you're the type who prioritizes light fastness, just like me, well, sorry, this is not for you because they did not provide any pigment information or light fastness rating. So, if you're the type who just paints in a journal or in a sketch pad and you don't actually uh, display or hang your paintings, then this is already okay for you. But you might also want to consider that the Kuretake Gansai Tambi is not one of the cheapest sets out there, so you might want to be considering also the, the prices of the other paints that I have uh, shown earlier and weigh your options. So I think that would be all. I think we're done. If you have reactions, questions, suggestions, I love hearing them all. Please just comment it below. I answer as much as possible to all of you because I love you know interacting with my viewers and I love hearing you guys so just speak out and let's talk in the comment section and if you're not subscribed yet please do subscribe to support this channel and give me some love please don't forget to like and share this video and what else that's all thank you for watching and see you again next week